Hello guys, in today's video I want to cover some of the important measures that um, New Brunswick is putting in place to help it manage the um, New Brunswick skilled worker stream. So you want to stay up to the very end of this video so that you can learn more. So without much further ado, um, New Brunswick uh, is one of the maritime provinces of, the Can of Canada and it is in fact the third largest um, maritime province in Canada. It's on the east coast of Canada and it um, borders the Atlantic Ocean. In addition to that, it is one of the most vibrant provinces in Canada with lots of beauty, lots of culture and also so many companies are coming to New Brunswick so that means a lot of career opportunities for you if you are looking to move to New Brunswick but um, it also happens to have one of the most organized um, immigration programs especially for international um, um, applicants if you want to move it's very organized one of the most organized provincial nomination programs they usually have um, recruitment events which I make sure to share with you guys all the time and today I just want to cover about four areas that um, are important some of these measures were put in place as early as May others were put uh, most recently in September so I just want to cover those um, those very quickly so number one um, because of the increase in applications under the new Brunswick skilled worker stream immigration new Brunswick is implementing specific measures to manage these sudden surge in applications so thus far they are giving priority uh, to categories of applicants in the following um, NOC code so for example number one is NOC code 2147 that is computer engineers except software engineers and designers we have NOC code 2172 database analysts plus data administrators. We have NOC code 2173, software engineers and designers. NOC code 2174, computer programmers and interactive um, media developers. We have NOC code 2175, that is um, web designers and developers. We have NOC code 2281, computer network technicians. NOC code 2282, um, user support technicians um, and then we have NOC code 2283 that is information system technicians so if your NOC code falls any among those then you are a priority candidate for the new Brunswick um, immigration program so you want to make sure you submit your application because currently other programs have been put on hold to make sure that applicants under these NOCs are taken care of and then we also have other NOC codes um, under the healthcare sector. So we have NOC code 3012, that is registered nurses and registered psychiatric nurses. And then we have NOC code 3233, that is licensed practical nurses. We have NOC code 3413. I forgot to check what that is. Let me just check quickly. 3413. That is nurse aides, orderlies, and patient service associates. And then we have NOC code 4412, home support workers, um, housekeepers, and related occupations. And then uh, we also have another category um, that New Brunswick is currently prioritizing the processing of the applications. That is New Brunswick graduates. If you graduated from an institution in New Brunswick, then you are also prioritized. And then last but not least, we have francophone applicants so new brunswick may, is making a firm commitment to not only increase the number of french speakers in new brunswick province but also um, to maintain the existing number of um, francophone speakers so remember new brunswick is the only officially bilingual province in canada and that's why it's important to the province to make sure that they um, make sure that um, they, they sustain francophone immigration into the province. And then another um, update that I wanted to give about the New Brunswick province is um, this one has been in effect for some time now since May 20th of 2022. Opportunities in New Brunswick temporarily paused the New Brunswick Express Entry System and the reason is because 
there has been a surge in applications. So for that reason, currently the New Brunswick Express Entry System is suspended for some period temporarily. So that is why if you have applied for Express Entry through New Brunswick, you may not have been hearing back from them. And then last but not least, this one I will just mention, but I'm going to do an entire video to cover it, is the province of New Brunswick is starting to accept expressions of interest for the private career college graduate pilot program. So this program began in um, September, I think, of 2020. And um, basically it is for the New Brunswick private career college graduate pilot program is for international graduates with the skills, education and work experience to contribute to New, Brunswick, New Brunswick's economy and who are ready to live and work in New Brunswick permanently. So the objective of the pilot is to make available an immigration pathway to international graduates from selected one year and two year programs of study that lead to careers that are currently priority occupations in education um, and social development in health in IT and cybersecurity in business administration and in supply chain and logistics so I'm gonna give an in-depth video on this so you want to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you also hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on that i'm going to tell you the colleges that are eligible as well as the courses that are eligible for you to apply for this new brunswick private career college graduate pilot program so you want to make sure that you watch out for that and the advantage is that you're going to get um you're likely to get like it's almost like a postgraduate um work permit the way you apply for pr using that but this one is that even a one-year program is gonna qualify but there are specific programs that new brunswick is looking at and you want to make sure that you do not um, apply for the wrong program or you do not go to a college that is not um considered um one of the participating programs so um remember the main reason why the new brunswick um provision of new program is setting up these measures is to ensure that anyone that they um, invite to apply for permanent residence through their provision of new programs has a greater ability to become economically established in New Brunswick. So that means you have an occupation, uh, you have a skill, you have an experience that is in a priority area under which employers are currently having a shortage and are unable to meet demand internally that is through other um, existing um, uh, perm permanent residents in Canada as well as those who are citizens of Canada so guys those are the main measures I wanted to bring to your attention the main changes in the new Brunswick um, provincial Media program as usual if this video was helpful please make sure to share it within your cycles and also to leave a sweet comment below. Thank you for staying to the end. I will see you on the next one.